What's up guys, Meredith with ExtremeTrade.com and as you can see, I am not in the studio anymore. I am in beautiful Las Vegas at SEMA 2024 and I am pumped to be here. Now I'm going to be bringing you all of the sickest Overland and Bronco builds that I possibly can in this video. So make sure that you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, but that wraps it up for me right now. Let's go ahead and check out these builds. Starting off strong, guys, so we're checking out this uh, Toyota Tundra. This is a TRD Pro, so it's got a lot of the TRD goodies up front and that digital camo, which adds a really nice touch and goes really well with this carbon fiber hood. 35-inch tires, CBI rock rails, but this is completely overland with an overland camper bolted right onto the bed. It pops up. So you've got a ton of standing room. And if we look on the inside, this is completely set up. So you have a sleeping area up on top, windows, storage down on the bottom. And if you can take a look at the top, you do have some ventilation. So it's not stuffy when you're back there. Also a cool overhang to kind of hang out behind the truck. Checking out another Tundra build from OVR, and this one is a little bit more set up when it comes to the trail. You've got a full wraparound front bumper, aftermarket headlights, and KC highlights from head to toe on the front bumper, as well as some pretty big ditch lights and a light bar. Working with some 35 inch tires on some pretty cool icon wheels. Moving up top, we have a roof rack and some cargo boxes with max tracks up on top and then on the back here this is where overland kicks in to overdrive with a bed rack storage on the side rota packs a awning and a pop-up tent if you can see the whole thing this is a pretty tall rig and then in the back a lot more storage rota packs power tank and a full decked system Checking out the Lynxwell Jeep, and I don't think that you could possibly fit another part on this Wrangler. 37 inch tires, hostile wheels, DV8 inner fender liners, uh, snorkel, lighting, roof rack, and a uh, jack up front. Pop up tent, soft top, but the real show is in the back as all overlanding is. Uh, there's a complete storage system on top of the spare tire, as you can see. And if we go around back, this is this is where it's at. Now this is packed completely tight with a storage system up top. So you can see that we're using the entire cargo space um, and down bottom, everything uh, that you would need to kind of run this whole situation here, pull out fridge and a little camping stove. Also have a little table that's connected to the fridge and a tailgate table over on the side. Looking at this JT here from Rockslide Engineering, this has a lot of cool stuff on the back when it comes to the bed rack. It has a Cascadia um, tent up on top, Milwaukee packouts, a little bit of gear, Rockslide Engineering rear bumper and step. Of course, their iconic side steps, 39 uh, inch tires and some true beadlocks there. The red on that chrome looks so good. Got some lighting, some ditch lights, and a little bit of armor. Front bumper and worn winch. Coolest part about this is the LS that's stuffed into this engine bay to pull those big 39 inch tires. Checking out this Bronco Raptor in the X-Bull booth. They have an ADD front bumper and a lot of Baja lighting on the front as well as their X-Bull um, winch with a synthetic rope. But the coolest part about this build is the hard top on the back. This is a complete hard top tent system that is combined. So it's got gas struts, so you put it up um, and when you close it, it's the same level. It's completely one piece. And if you can see, there's also some slots on the top so you can mount up accessories. You also have a skylight up there um, so it is a very unique product you don't see a lot of stuff like this when it comes to just a flush pop-up tent so this is an awesome product out of the expo booth 
checking out this Bush Whacker build, not to be confused with Bush Whacker like the fenders, uh, but this is a pretty cool build. Stubby front bumper, 37 inch tires, nice yellow and black theming to it with the KCs, but these guys specialize in awnings. So as you can see, this spans from the front to the back of the Jeep. It's completely freestanding, which is pretty crazy. This big awning uh, doesn't have any poles, so you don't have to fight with anything when you're setting it up. It's got all of this lighting integrated into each of the support bars there, and you can change it. As you can see on this one, those are amber. So that is very cool out of this build, and you have a tent on top, so if you want to collapse it, go on your overland adventure. When you're done, need a spot to chill, this is where it's at. I'm over at the Expedition One booth checking out their Land Cruiser build and this thing looks incredible. It has a full wraparound front bumper, uh, some diode dynamics lighting, winch mount, and some access points for the winch itself. Moving around to the side, uh, some big Falcon Wild Peak tires and a pretty cool fuel wheel with some red detailing to match the heritage kind of decals that they have going on. All of this armor is Expedition One, some sliders, roof rack up on top, and an FSR tent. But if we move around the back here, this is probably the coolest part about this build is the dual swing out carrier. So you've got a mount for your tire and you also have a mount for your accessories over on the side. Full armor, wrap around on the back, and a hitch cover. I found this really well done Overland Bronco build. So let me walk you through it. ARB front bumper, Alpha Rex headlights, 37 inch tires, and a chrome race line wheel. Uh, we also have some King suspension and this uh, very cool sand color, some ditch lights, rock sliders. But the coolest part about this build is this camper up on top or this tent. This is a fully electric tent, so uh, it will fold down. It'll only be like six inches tall. And then whenever you wanna use it, uh, you can use a remote uh, and it will pop right up. It's mounted up on this roof rack here with a little mini ladder. And you also have some cargo space and a drawer in the back. That's empty right now because the table is completely folded, but you can fold this up. It's got wheels and you can store it right in the back. Still over at IIM Campers and wanted to check out this JT build as well because we got a little bit more going on the back here with this full bed rack. It does have a retractable tonneau cover. It is a hard tonneau cover. You also get a rack above this to store everything. It's got some stuff going on in the tailgate, um, but there is a cool rear bumper that has storage within it. So if you can see, it's got a roller drawer. Uh, you've got some recovery points, but that drawer is for this fold-out table or uh, that fold-out table. So you got a couple different options and also that tent on top and a box over on the side, which looks like can store you some water for an off-road shower. At the American Modified booth, checking out their Bronco. And this is a little bit sleeker than a lot of the off-road or more overland Broncos that we've checked out. Uh, but you can see that these are the American Modified headlights. They've got the projectors in them, a little bit different than the factory. Also, this grill with the lettering is uh, from them as well. Uh, this does come in a matte black and a gloss black. So you can see that it's fully paintable and blends so well into this paint job. Um, some pretty cool wheels, Mickey Thompson tires, rock sliders, and around back, some very cool taillights, also from American Modified, and you can see that there's some other accessories here to match that pink and uh, blue look, and you can see also some speakers peeking through there. Over at the Iron Man 4x4 uh, booth, and I'm checking out their 24 Tacoma. So for you Overland guys, this full width front bumper with all of this lighting uh, is incredible. You've got some smaller lights on the inside uh, as well as a winch. It's on a three inch lift kit with some KMC uh, feed locks and 35 inch tires. But the real cool part about this is this bed cap in the back. It's full aluminum. You have this little sight window for all of your gear. It's on gas strut so you can pop this open. It's got a light 
so you can see what you're doing in the dark. It's got molly panels and on the inside here you're also getting some molly panels and the the cool part about this is that not only are you getting the bed cap but you're also getting a bed stiffener with it so you're not going to get any uh, bed articulation with this setup. Another 2024 Tacoma here at the Overland Vehicle Systems booth, but this one is geared very much towards overlanding. Stubby front bumper up front with all Baja designs, uh, lighting in that yellow color, Prinsu roof rack, uh, but the real deal here is in the back when it comes to the Excursion Rooftop Tent Camper Shell. So this is an all-in-one bed cap that has the option to put a tent right on top of it. So it's basically a bolt-on version of a tent. So you've got the lighting, you have provisions on either side, four molly panels, a full open up window here, and then you have your sleeping space on top with a little ladder to get up there. Checking out the Tundra build over at the all top booth. As you can see, this is completely set up for an overland kind of camping vibe. They have an awning here that comes straight off of this spider roof rack. This roof rack is full length from front to back on their bed uh, cap there. On top of that roof rack, there is a tent system, as you can see, that pops up and completely closes and is a hard shell. Also have an awning for a little bit of element protection. Uh, the back portion of the cab, it does pop up. And this also has a swing carrier, a dual swing carrier on the back for a spare, as well as this all top cooler. Checking out this Blanco Bronco over at the Armadillo Designs booth. This is Derek and Monica's build, and they built this in under six weeks, so let's check it out. They have a shortened modular OE style front bumper on the front, a Cervini's Ram Air hood, some Raceline wheels, and Mickey Thompson, very beefy tires, some KC lighting, but the star of the show is this Armadillo Designs hard top here. Uh, now this is fully aluminum. It's paint matched to match this Raptor inspired body kit, uh, but it's sound deadening. It has some molly panels in the back, flip up rear window, flip up side window, and it works specifically with this Gobi roof rack. So uh, this is custom built for this top and works perfectly with it. Got a ton of lighting, some crossbars, and it's much more durable than the factory top. Looking at this Tundra in the Interpid Camp Gear booth, as you can see, this is completely overland to the bone. You've got a pop-up tent with a hard shell, uh, with a hard shell, uh, should I say, and this extends the entire length of this Tundra's bed. This bed rack here has some really cool body lines to it. I like that compared to some of the other uh, boxy designs. It is a little bit different, but in the back here, they're showcasing their storage boxes. And you can see up on top of this bed rack and the roof rack up front, they're showcasing the boxes as well with molly panels and all of the accessory attachments on that. And if that is not enough for you, you can tow this camper behind you with another tent and all of the storage for gear on the back. Do you even overland, bro? This is the this is a crazy build. So this is the James Brown booth and their Overland JL build. So you have a shower over on the side, full width front bumper, ARB with a lot of KC lighting on the bumper as well as on the windshield, a full pop-up hard shell tent up there and you can access it from the side here in your complete enclosed awning setup that just pops off the side of the Jeep. You've got some pocket uh, storage over on the side of the hard top, a lot of lighting. You can see up into that tent system there. And then if you come around back, you honestly can't even tell that this is uh, a Jeep setup because this is the Overland dream here. Um, but you also have a lot of storage in the back and tailgate table and everything that's necessary for your Overland adventure. I'm at the Easy 4x4 booth checking out this Bronco here. And it's got a couple cool parts on it that I want to show you. Uh, these tube doors, for example, these are fully aluminum. They're super lightweight and they have fully hand twistable molly panels for the top 
and the bottom. They attach to the striker just like that. Very easy. This hinge back top that slides up onto a rail system and can be stored at highway speeds. Now, if we take a look around the back here, this is a pretty cool tailgate table. It's got a two level here and it will collapse as well as the storage system or the kind of deck enclosure that flips back and can completely fold down. Thank you so much. So you have all of the space to work with, but when this is up, it can seal and lock to the tailgate. Checking out this Bronco at the Mile Marker booth. This is a 1971 Ford Bronco with a full four link system. Dana 44 in the front, a nine inch in the rear, and a bunch of small details that really make this build pop. Some aftermarket lighting, carbon fiber grill, and of course a 5.0 coyote swapped into this um, this has a lot of custom uh, built stuff to it full uh, front bumper as well as the mile marker winch also they're showing off their air compressor here rock slide engineering step sliders big mickey thompson uh, tires and race line wheels as well as a full caged system in this this is an incredible build and really it screams sema so that is a wrap on SEMA 2024. I was so excited to get in there and see all of the new and fun parts. So make sure that you comment down below and tell me what your favorite part was or your favorite build was. And like and subscribe for more fun content just like this. And always keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.